those of you Nigerians who fought tirelessly to make sure that Buhari rigged the election in 2019. The message on this video is for you. You will be barred from entering the United States of America and believe me, most of the civilized country will follow suit. Authorities are advising citizens to stay away from the United States. In recent weeks, several Nigerians have been denied entry to America. A special advisor to the Nigerian president says no reasons have been provided for denying Nigerian citizens entry into the U.S. The travel advisory came ahead of Trump's new executive order. His first travel ban was blocked by the court, but Trump insists it will be implemented. The restrictions apply to seven Muslim-majority countries. Three of them are here in Africa they include Libya, Sudan and Somalia. Let's get you more now on that story. I'm joined live from Lagos by CGTN's Deji Badmas. Deji, what more can you tell us about this advisory for Nigerians to avoid traveling to the U.S.? Well, Penina, this has come as a huge surprise uh, to, to most Nigerians. Not until the special advisor to the president uh, issued that statement People didn't even know that um, some Nigerians were actually turned back when they traveled to the USA, even when they had valid, um, you know, visas. So it, it, it's actually come as a surprise, and um, no further explanation, of course, has been provided by the U.S. State Department or by the um, U.S. Embassy here as to why uh, some of these Nigerians were turned back from the United States of America. But, of course, the advisory coming from... Um, uh, the special advisor to the president asking Nigerians without uh, very compelling reasons to travel to the United States, uh, uh, you know, to stay back home. And, um, well, we're all waiting to see what happens. The uh, fact is that Nigeria is not on um, the uh, list of executive orders signed by uh, President Trump a few months ago. And even the new uh, list uh, released by the U.S. government, Nigeria is not on that list. So it, it's quite a surprise that uh, some Nigerians would be turned back in the United States of America. Uh, but of course, uh, things will unfold. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to know more, or, you know, we'll get more details on these as uh, the day goes by. But it, it's a huge shock that some Nigerians have actually been turned back um, after having arrived in the United States of America, even when they had valid visas. So, Deji, what reactions have we been getting from Nigerians on the U.S. denying several Nigerians entry into the country? Uh, it's been that of shock, as a matter of fact. People are surprised, as I said, uh, Nigeria is not on the list of uh, those countries uh, on that executive order. So it's, it's a huge surprise. And, um, you know, Nigerian name had not come up at all in, in this whole conversation when it comes to, um, you know, immigration in the United States of America. People are surprised. Uh, and it's coming out for the first time. It's that of shock. We'll begin to get more reactions in the coming days. Uh, but, um, Penina... Uh, for now, it's, it's, it's actually a huge surprise and uh, quite, even quite more surprising that even those who had been affected had not spoken out before now, but they had just reported the issue um, to the special advisor uh, to President Buhari on diaspora affairs. And now that this is coming out, uh, there's no question that we're going to get more reactions in the coming days and people will want to know more. Uh, what is going to happen in the coming days because quite a lot of Nigerians travel to the United States of America. There are, uh, there's, there's a huge um, uh, number of Nigerians living in the United States and um, it, it's a huge worry that um, Nigerians will be involved in this uh, whole immigration issue in the United States of America. All right. Did you Badmas joining us live in Lagos. Thank you. So, do you think the United States of America would sit and watch as a legitimate government sponsors terrorism and now you are being compared with other Muslim nations this is what you get I am using this opportunity to call on all Biafrans anywhere in the world all Biafrans anywhere in the world if you know you are a Biafran if you know your region falls within the Biafran region, it is time for you to get up, join every Biafran group in the country where you reside, join every Biafran group in wherever you are. We have to come together. We have to make this work. We have to do everything we can. Bring your ideas, whatever you think you can, you can do. It is time to come together. 
and we are going to fight for the freedom of Biafra. It is time that we are too ashamed of Nigeria. We are becoming too ashamed 